Hello Year 12. Uh, a few of you have asked for a podcast on how to do the body paragraphs of the essay. Um, as discussed with all of you by both um, Ms. Gur and myself, we like to use Petal with three cups of tea and an ice cube. This is based on what you were already doing with Alarm to help you with your writing. Remember, Alarm is a learning and response matrix. So if you've been used to writing those Alarm paragraphs, they are to help you get to the nuts and bolts of the text. What is the themes of the text? What is it about and what do we learn about it for our particular module or the area? of study then when we write about that we use all that but we, we just play with the layout of it so that uh, we're in a tighter essay form so by using petal p-e-t-a-l you'll see on my screen here the p equals the point it's a it's a topic sentence about what are you going to discuss in that paragraph that top that argument that forms that topic sentence needs to come from those arguments that you have already listed in your introductory paragraph. So for instance, if you said that uh, the discovery of love and the discovery of forgiveness leads to uh, transformations of the individual, then your topic sentence needs to be either the discovery of love leads to transformation or the discovery of forgiveness. You don't go straight into the text. Then we have our three cups of tea. Our evidence technique and analysis or if we do it as a cup of tea it's our technique evidence and analysis and we do that at least three times if you can remember to have three cups of tea in every body paragraph you're going to put in more evidence which is going to allow you to have a deeper analysis which is how you're going to push those marks then we finally have our ice cube that we put in to the end uh, this is coming from our alarm. This is our interpret, our critically analyze, and our evaluate. And we have to remember that evaluate must link back to the question and it needs to chime the question. So I've given you an example here of the start of a body paragraph. Within the tempest, Prospero discovers forgiveness and is transformed. Yes, it has the argument, but it's not a topic sentence. It should not be the first sentence of your body paragraph instead your first sentence of the uh, your topic sentence has to be broader it has to be about the argument itself so you may have something along the lines of discoveries of oh sorry let's try the discovery of forgiveness leads an individual to transformation or you may have uh, the discovery of forgiveness results in a transformation of the individual or the discovery of forgiveness has a positive transformation of the individual. Something like that and then you would go into what how it appears in the text such as um, such a discovery is evident in the tempest when Ariel teaches Prospero how to forgive or something like that then we go into our cups of tea um, so um, you know the metaphor the metaphoric then give an example and then uh, you um, analyze it. What is the effect of that technique or that language form or feature that you're referring to? And you do that three times. Then you have your ice cube at the end of it. So your interpret is how do we link it to universal meanings? What do we learn from it? And also link it to the concept itself. Our critical analysis, sorry, typos, includes context at this point. Okay, For, so if it, we were talking about the tempest, are we learning something about the divine chain of being? Are we learning something about Jacobean or Elizabethan times? Are we learning something about the crumbling of the feudal system or Renaissance humanism or any of the things that were happening at the time and how they viewed the world? And then finally, your evaluate. You need to link it back 
to that original question and again have to remind you if the question is a to what extent you need to provide a full evaluation this is your moment for a judgment so this sentence needs to link to the question link to the rubric and provide a judgment so a nice linking word is for here is ultimately um, or something along those lines that leads us into that nice uh, evaluation at the end. If you were then going to, um, if you have to have a related text, you'll notice that when you write a paragraph this size that you have, when you have all of this in, it's, it's actually a really lengthy paragraph and it's not a good idea to have um, your related text as you're uh, in this same paragraph because it's not going to be integrated uh, that well and it's just going to look like a really long long paragraph so you would then go repeat this process and do it for your related text in a second paragraph but still integrate it so to do that we still have to have that topic sentence so uh, you would have similarly such discovery of forgiveness leading to transformation of the individual is also evident within and then you would have your related text um, or you may uh, you find that it doesn't the same argument doesn't flow into your related text so you may have contrastingly this such a discovery of forgiveness results in a negative transformation of the individual uh, or something like that something where you are carrying on the point but you still have that topic sentence you don't just launch straight into your analysis of your next te text you have to still follow that same uh, point evidence technique analysis three times over and then interpret it to universal meanings, critically analyze it, throw in the context, and then link it back to the um, question.